I'm joined by Todd Dishman, the Director of Production Management. Good morning, Todd. Good morning, Glenn. Todd, this is your first time here in the studio. Yes, ma'am, it is. Good deal. Well, since you recently took the reins as the Director of Production Management, let's talk a little bit about your organization. It's a great time to highlight it. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you attained this level. So my background is I started in the shop, on the shop floor. I uh, worked in turbine engine shop and in building 400. Uh, but I've been here for about 17 years and about 14 of the 17 years I spent that time in production planning in some different roles between being a, a planner, program manager, master scheduler, supervisor, division chief. And the way I got here was I went to school at nighttime while I was working during the day to get to the level I'm at today. Okay, good deal. Well, let's talk a little bit about your organization. What is the mission of the director, the director of production management? We, we perform all the program management, production planning, budget development, material management, system, uh, system maintenance for the maintenance mission directorates. So basically your staff is responsible for the production of equipment, services, and making certain it gets to the customer at the right time, Correct. right quantity, right quality, and of course at minimum cost. That's right. Okay. Well, how many members do you have on your team? And tell us a little bit about some of those job responsibilities. So we have about 364 members on our team today. We have, uh, our, we have our staff ranges from production planners to parts managers or MRP plan buyers, program managers, and then we have a budget office, we have, like I said, a systems branch. We also have the tool crib, the safety store, the eye clinic, the shoe store. So we have a wide array of different organizations and different job responsibilities within DPM to support, to support the industrial complex. Okay, so collectively your team is responsible for the production, organizing, directing, and controlling of production activities. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, in a nutshell. Well, let's switch gears. One of the topics that the commando loves to talk about at his town halls is uh, performance to promise, and that's right. a very important part of what we do here, often referred to as P2P. Let's talk a little bit about it. Okay. You want to explain what that means to those who may be new to uh, hearing that term? So performance to promise is a measure, basically, do we deliver to our customer what they ask us to deliver. So it is our schedules. Are we meeting the schedules that we signed up to meet that we negotiated with our customers? So it's basically a, a customer satisfaction metric, you could almost say, it's how we measure are we delivering readiness. It's how it's a measurement that we're measured by to, to are we doing what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so uh, if a customer makes a request and it's expected to be delivered on July 1st, and if you deliver prior to July 1st and we've met those expectations, we've met those. and any time afterwards, then of course the numbers drop. That's correct. Okay, okay. So how is this metric uh, calculated? How do we arrive there? So we have all these schedules, and then well, we have end item schedules. So each month we have a delivery schedule for each month. So the, the calculation is by dividing all the programs that we completed each month divided by the programs that were scheduled. So it's a percentage. Okay, so we all want to know what can we do to help improve our P2P. So P2P is a team sport. So whether you're a security guard, you work in Doom, whether you work in DPW, whether you're an expediter, or whether you work on the, an artisan on the shop for actually hand touching hands on the equipment, do what you're supposed to do. And if you have, if you run into any problems, elevate those problems. Don't sit and hold those problems. Okay, and this runs parallel to the Army's way of thinking. Uh, Readiness is our number one priority and right. you know, making certain that the soldier has what he need when he needs it and is ready to fight when he has to. So how does P2P affect our workload here? So not all customers are required to give us workload. So one of the, if we're measured typically by cost, quality, and schedule, and P2P being the schedule portion of that. So if obviously if you order something from Amazon and they don't deliver it when they say they're going to deliver it, you might start looking elsewhere to buy products. Same thing for the customers. If, they, if they're not satisfied with our cost quality and schedule, they can take some of the work elsewhere. And they don't, they don't, they're not all forced to provide us workload. And that certainly doesn't sound good. You know, Edison has a reputation and it has preceded itself. And as the commander says, we are ranked uh, among the top performers within AMC and we want to keep it that way. Yes, so Todd, what is the depot's current P2P and how are we uh, doing this fiscal year? So currently at the end of February, we ended February at 95% and our cumulative P2P is how we measure for the year is still at 95%. So we're not, we still got about 5% to go to get to 100%, which is the overall goal. 
Okay, and when we look at some of the content that's listed in tracks as it relates to how well we're doing with the group award payout, P2P is always one of those metrics. So tell us, what is the goal and what do we need to do to achieve it? So the goal is 100%. And that gets you the maximum payout of $500. We're currently at 95%, which has us in the second bracket at a payout of $375. So if you, if you, we were to get paid out today, it would be $375. The things we need to do to achieve it is to work together as a team and realize that everybody has an impact on it. Everybody needs to do the things that they're scheduled to do and elevate any problems that they have and see if they can get them resolved quickly. Okay, well, P2P, um, you know, one of those topics that we could probably talk on and on about. But if people have questions after today's show, who should they contact? I, I think they should start with a supervisor. And because we cover this usually in the supervisory town hall, this is a big topic. So it may be new to some employees, but most supervisors, this shouldn't be a real new topic. To okay, and, and if it is their first time hearing it, then expect more. Yes. Because it is part of, a part of our life. Well, thank, Todd, we thank you for joining us this morning. Your director is a very vital part of the Depot's mission. So thank you for starting your day with us. Thank you for having me.